Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is Derek Lansford, and let me just say it, I have Derek Lansford winning the Mr. Olympia. Just joking, just kidding, take a breath, count to 10, relax, I don't have Derek winning the Mr. Olympia as of yet, as of August 28, I still do have Samson Dauda as my favorite, but things might change, and I might have Derek Lansford winning it, but I need to see more than this. However, in this video right here, Derek does look pretty freaking nasty, right? His conditioning at six and a half weeks out seems to be the best of the bunch, of all the top five, top six guys. Hardy is most certainly not in this kind of shape right now. Neither is Samson, neither is Nick Walker even. Andrew Jack is uh, shredded for sure, he competed recently and Hunter Labrada is also peeled right now, but considering that Derek is coming out of the offseason, he seems to be in a really good shape. Now, as far as Derek's flaws, we all know what they are, I mean, it's legs, quads, and like the front shoulder upper chest area basically. And yeah, sure, you can say his arms could be bigger, maybe his biceps could be peakier, and he could have more separation uh, in the bicep, tricep area, in the front double bicep, but, you know, as far as the shoulders, upper chest area, that's, that, that's the area where I never saw, like, some crazy details from Derek, and in this update... You know, it seems like he did gain some maturity, sort of, like there is a little bit more, more density, more, more thickness in that area, so maybe he improved that. And you guys know that Derek didn't get super heavy in the offseason, so it's not like he gained a ton of muscle, but, but maybe he was focused on bringing up the details. And I know that a lot of you don't agree with that, you believe that it's only possible to grow more muscle and get leaner and that's it, but that's not what I saw. Like in my experience and from the experience of people around me and also like professional bodybuilders, if you follow them, if you watch their progress, sometimes they show up on stage basically, you know, in the same same size, same weight, but things look different. So I believe it's totally possible to bring up the details of certain body parts, and it seems like Derek has kind of done that. I mean, I want to see his legs before I make any kind of predictions, but it seems like that upper chest, the front shoulder area seems to be improved. It seems to be more detailed, you know, denser, more matured, and that's basically, that's a, that's a small detail, but it's gonna help him a lot if it is truly improved. Now, we have no idea what his legs look like. We haven't really seen anything uh, recently since he got in this better conditioning. How well are they holding up? Are they flat now that he is leaner? Or are they still holding on to that size that he had at a Pittsburgh Pro Gas posing? Or usually that he always has basically in the offseason and loses towards the end of the prep? I don't know about that. We saw his back. It seems improved. It seems absolutely nuts at this point. And it's gonna get even freakier as he gets even more shredded but here we can kind of see his arms and are they looking better i mean it's not the best angle it's not the best uh, pose or whatever i want to see like his front double bicep or like uh, maybe like with an arm pump you know in the most muscular stuff like that i want to see his arms in a better angle i believe they're also better I'm pretty sure he was he, he's aware that his uh, arms are also kind of like a weak point, so if he focused on bringing those up, then yeah, it, it's possible, I believe he made improvements everywhere, but we'll see, we'll see soon enough, uh, right now, I, I do think I see a little bit more maturity density to the upper chest shoulder area, even though it's a small detail, it might help a lot, you know, Derek Lansford is not gonna be, a lot of people have him like fourth, third, you know, not winning the Mr. Olympia, but he is not to be underestimated, he's gonna be very dangerous still, even this year against all these guys, who even if they bring 100%, Derek is gonna be improved, he's gonna be good, so don't underestimate this guy, I know you don't like him, nobody likes him, basically his personality, but his physique, it speaks for itself. Alright, the next thing we got is, I mean, when I saw this, I was like, wow, I did not see this coming. This is Hunter Labrada at like two weeks uh, or like one and a half weeks out of uh, Italy Pro at this point. And, uh, I mean, I knew this guy made progress in the offseason, but I I'm getting more and more impressed and more surprised how much he transformed basically this year. 
I mean, I'm looking at this right now, and the first thing that comes to my mind is this guy can definitely battle for fourth this year. I mean, I don't really see him beating Derek, Hardy, and Samson, most likely. But as far as guys like uh, Nick Walker, Andrew Jack, Brandon Curry, I can definitely see Hunter battling these guys and potentially even beating them. Is that a possibility? I mean, Hunter, you guys know that he's a very, very complete bodybuilder. Like, he has all the body parts, even the freaking calves. Like, he has everything. He has no, no big gaps, not too many flaws, really. Like, he has big arms, big shoulders, good chest, uh, small waist, you know, legs are pretty freaky, I would say. Hamstrings, glutes, hand quads, forearms are there, calves are good. And he has a lot of muscle, you know, you can't really realize, you can't really grasp how big he is until he stands next to the other guys. And he, he can bring conditioning, now he's definitely bringing good conditioning. The only flaw that he had so far basically was his back, like his lats were pretty high inserted. But now that he got his back so shredded, and I think he improved it slightly, I mean not slightly, he improved it quite a bit from last year. Now this back looks absolutely freaking insane, like, look at the freaking details through, throughout the entire back, like, the erectors, look at how, how separated in detail they are, that's a proper Christmas tree, and that's not even stage ready, he still has to dehydrate and carb up and, like, be, you know, truly full and dry, what is gonna look like then, I mean... I, I don't want to see this back look any different, honestly, if he can step on stage looking like this, exactly, this would be awesome, I mean, yeah, like, his glutes could be a little bit more dialed in, and he can bring that up with uh, dehydration, but I don't know, man, I wouldn't risk it, honestly, I wouldn't risk the fullness and the look in the back, and basically in everything else, just for a couple of uh, glute lines, so if I was his coach, if I was in Ben Chow's place right now, I honestly wouldn't do anything. I would let him step on the stage exactly like this, because this is looking nuts. He is super basically separated and shredded, and like his lats are definitely inserted high, but because of the details in, this, in the spinal erectors, uh, you, you can't even notice so in where the lats are inserting, so his shoulders are wide, his waist is narrow, there's a whole bunch of details in the back, I mean, lats are decent, traps are freaking thick, and like those erectors are separated, the back looks really good, really complete, with those shoulders and arms on top, I mean, this looks like a really good, like a winning back double bicep pose. Now, in the back lat spread, you can see, kind of, you can see more clearly what I'm talking about, like, his lats are, in fact, uh, pretty high inserted, and also, like, here, I mean, here in, in the lower back, you can see some, like, maybe fluid retention, so, yeah, yeah, I can definitely see a point for, you know, doing a little bit of dehydration, just to get rid of that final layer of water, but, you know, it doesn't look like this in the back double bicep, in the back lat spread, you can see it, so, yeah, he needs to get a little bit drier, maybe, but, like, a little bit, and, like, Italy pro who is he going against really i i don't i don't think nexila is doing that show i mean we'll see but even if he does and he's not in shape i don't see him beating hunter i'm pretty sure hunter is winning Italy pro anyways but yeah we're about to see the best version of hunter labrada however last year his best version ever was tampa pro and then he faded a little for the texas pro and then even more for the mr olympia in my opinion so i hope this year he's not gonna fade He's gonna do that one show, Italy, qualify, and then try and peak again for the Mr. Olympia. But it's gonna be a little bit tricky since there are only, like, four weeks in between these two shows. This is the last qualifier, so hopefully they can cruise around and do what's necessary and try and actually manage to peak him well for the Olympia. If they do, he's battling for that fourth, for sure. Alright, and finally, probably the main reason why you clicked on this video, we have a physique update from Big Remy, and it's been a while since we saw this kind of a physique update, where you can actually see his physique, I mean, without a shirt, you can see his midsection, his chest, and everything, and honestly, Big Remy right now is looking pretty big, you know, at six and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia, do I think he is gonna do the show? Like, I can see him getting in shape, you know, he, he looks very lean, and pretty big as well, I mean, look at the biceps, I feel like his biceps are looking, 
you know, fuller than usual. I mean, how? Wh why is that? Did he do something to them? I mean, they're looking kind of suspicious a little bit, like a little bit too full compared to last year especially. And the forearms kind of stayed smaller. But I don't know, maybe he has a pump or something like that. And, you know, I'm seeing him, like, on the beach, training, having fun, and, you know, not really being locked in. So, no, no, let's be real. Big Remy is not doing the Mr. Olympia. But if he wanted to, could he do it? Could he prep successfully? Well, you know, again, conditioning looks decent. Fullness, the size, and everything is okay. So maybe, maybe he could, you know, get shredded in six and a half weeks and jump into the show. But... I don't see, I don't, I don't think he's gonna do that, I mean, the guy is two-time Mr. Olympia, I don't see him prepping that way, if he was gonna do the Mr. Olympia, he would prep properly, and if he truly put 100% into it, could he, you know, get, I don't know, let's say top 5, top 3 again, I mean, I have to see more than, more than this to, to make that kind of conclusion, but honestly, like, the first impression from seeing this is, he did not lose, like, his size, he does not look retired. I'm pretty sure about that. If he retired and like stopped, uh, you know, training hard and like, you know, taking supplements and eating a lot of food, that's the main thing. Like when guys stop eating a lot of protein, a lot of food, that's when they lose a lot of size. And as long as they're training hard and doing a little bit of gear at least, and also eating a lot and eating like a bodybuilder, they stay big. So I'm pretty sure Big Remy is regimented to a point, And that's why he's holding all this tissue conditioning again very good but it's, it's it's pretty much impossible for a guy this size to get fat but holding on to this much tissue that can't be easy i know he has crazy genetics but still still maintaining this much muscle it requires effort so i feel like big remy is still living a bodybuilding lifestyle not to the point where he's prepping for shows but maybe next year maybe arnold classic maybe dubai pro i think we're gonna see him next year on the stage this year however I don't know. So you guys tell me down below in the comment section, what do you think about Big Ramy's current physique? Why is there sand on Big Ramy's knees? And whatever you guys think about whatever part of this video, comment down below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.